Welcome to Bluff Creek Podcast Radio. I'm Ben. And I'm Sean. Today's special guest is Tanya. Hello. Thanks for coming today. You're welcome. What is it like working for Activision? I really enjoy working for Activision. Uh, It's a very creative place to be. We have a lot of people on the team that are very happy to be working for Activision, so it doesn't even seem like a job for them or hard work for them. They, they come into work every day very excited to work on video games. Who do you have to test the video games? Good question. We have a group called Quality Assurance, or QA, and they test our video games. They are in Bloomington, So actually, you know what? Our QA testers are in Eden Prairie, so that's even closer to you. They are 18 years old or older, and they do test our games really over and over again until they find as many bugs as possible. How did you get into video game designing? You know, I am the HR manager for Activision, and so while I don't have a part in the video game design myself, I did get into the company about five years ago when I was looking for an opening. My family was living in St. Louis, and we wanted to move back to Minnesota, so I found the job online on a job, uh, basically a job website, and most of the people that I work with got into gaming because it was a passion that they had and they either got into it through schooling or experience and they have worked their way up into the positions they have today. Could you tell us a little about how STEM relates to your job? So STEM definitely relates to video game design. In fact, we have a studio in New York called Vicarious Visions. They're currently working on a lot of the Skylanders games, and they require their employees to be very, uh, very educated when it comes to science, technology, engineering, and math. And that's because if you're a video game designer, you need to know how, whether it's physics, how characters move in the game, you need to use math to figure out different signals. Uh, Let's say Guitar Hero, for example, when when the drumstick hits the drum, you want to hear and see the same thing. And so there's a lot of math actually involved in that. So those are really four of the necessities to be a video game designer, is to have a strong background in STEM. What games are under development? Right now we do have two publishing offices, one in Los Angeles, California. They develop Call of Duty, so they're working on the the new Call of Duty. Uh, We also have Skylanders under development, so the fourth Skylanders, and then a new game, a brand new game called Destiny. Now, the Minneapolis Publishing Office, we don't work on those three titles. We're working on uh, Spider-Man and Transformers. We're working on a Duck Dynasty game, another Wipeout, and a couple games for mobile as well. Thank you. Thank you, Tanya, for coming in today. No problem. Today's radio podcast was brought to you by Bluff Creek Elementary and Eastern Carver County Schools.